Hola, how have you all been? Today in this video, I want to share a few low-cost habits with you. These are the habits that keep me away from acne and make my skin glow. We are so used to think about what to put into our bodies, but rarely think if we are getting the toxins out regularly. The fact is, our bodies need nutrients from the food, but it also needs to get rid of the waste. If we fail to do it by pooping regularly, it will come out from the skin in the form of acne or other more severe skin problems because skin is the largest detoxing organ in our bodies. What I would like to suggest here is to make pooping part of your daily routine. For instance, I have trained my body to do it every morning. After getting up, the first thing I do is to drink 3 glasses of salt water. Usually within 20 minutes, I'll be able to go to the toilet for a nice release. Of course, you can do it anytime in a day, but I think the best time is in the morning because after a whole night rest, our bodies naturally want to throw out the waste. Once it's done in the morning, the body is light and clean. Appetite is good and most importantly, you do not have to worry about it in the rest of the day. Despite drinking enough water in the early morning, wherever I go, I always fill my thermos with warm water and take it with me. It's a good way to stay hydrated and avoid buying bottled water from outside, which is not sustainable. Another way to keep yourself hydrated is to avoid dehydration. I used to be very addicted to coffee and had to have 3 or 4 cups a day. However, High caffeine level not only causes dehydration, it also strips the body of vitamin B, magnesium, and other essential nutrients. I have been slowly replacing coffee with matcha tea for a while, and I have to say I'm loving it. Matcha has the same energizing effect like coffee, but it gives you more energy, mental clarity, and endurance without making you feel jittery. Plus, it also has many proven health benefits like high in antioxidant, which helps to brighten the skin, vital nutrients, and reducing inflammation. Unhealthy carbs such as refined sugar and white bread lead insulin to rise, which can increase sebum production and decrease in collagen levels. I have never been a sweet tooth since childhood, but as Chinese, white rice has always been a staple food in our diet. Life is beautiful, so certainly there's no need to stop eating these things at all. But try to add more complex carbs such as whole grains, starchy veggies, and legumes in your diet. And limit the consumption of simple carbs such as sweetened drinks and candies. Because our bodies need carbs for energy, and complex carbs are better options as they won't spike your blood sugar levels as quickly as simple carbs do. Plus, they provide nutrients like fiber, minerals, and vitamins that are essential for our bodies. You might have noticed that I use limit rather than avoid everywhere. 
and that's because I believe that extremeness and suppressions are not good. Because what we want is to replace our bad habits with the good ones and be able to stick to them. But for the optimum of our skin health, we should always go for options that are more beneficial and limit the consumption of foods that can cause inflammation. And dairy is one of them. Usually, I'm very cautious with my dairy intake because if I eat too much, within a few days, pimples start to come out. The reason of that is because milk is designed to feed calf. Therefore, it's loaded with a lot of different hormones like estrogen, IGF-1, and IGF-1 directly triggers hormone fluctuations, oily skin, and acne. I still eat cheese sometimes because I really like it, but only sometimes and with moderation. And for milk, I have replaced it with alternatives like oat milk, coconut milk, and cashew milk. Everyone knows the benefits of working out, but few people do it. As mentioned before, skin is the largest detoxing organ in our bodies, and sweating is one of the ways for the bodies to release the waste. It's literally the most economical way I know to maintain youth and stay vibrant. Find an exercise that you truly enjoy, as it's the key to consistency. If you enjoy sun, fresh air, try jogging. If you like water and coolness, how about swimming? As for me, I have tried both jogging and tennis, but now yoga is the one that works the best for me. I list skincare as the last one because it's really the least important of all. For what's applied in the face, less is more. For the last two years, I have been gradually minimizing my makeup and skincare process. Now I only use four things in my daily makeup routine. Brows brush, mascara, blush, and a lip balm. Yes, no foundation needed. Because if you try to cultivate the habits I mentioned before, your skin will naturally be in a relatively good condition. As for daily skin care, five things. Cleanser for removing dirt from the face. Because I have mixed skin, I use a gentle toner for oil control and a spray for calming down the face. A simple moisturizer to maintain hydration and a different acne treatment to prevent pimples.